All right, so today I'm gonna make the superiority burger. This is all the ingredients. It's a ton, but we'll make it through one step at a time. Uh, the first thing we do is we're gonna make some red quinoa. Let's see if I can find it, it's right here. You get a cup of this and then you add one and a half cups of salted water and cook for around 45 minutes. All right, so now we got our one cup of red quinoa. We're gonna add that into the pot. And then we got one and a half cups of water. We're gonna add that into our pot, just like that. We're gonna add a little bit of salt, like this. All right, and then turn this on. I'm gonna turn it on low. My heat's usually pretty hot. Um, and then we're gonna cover it and cook around 45 minutes until fluffy. So after that, we're gonna go ahead and turn our oven on to 425. We're gonna go to bake 425 and get that preheating. So next up, we're gonna wanna chop up a medium onion and then uh, saute it until golden brown. Um, we're heating up our pan right now and then you season it with a little salt, pepper, and then chili powder and some fennel seeds. So I'll show you once this is chopped up. All right, well now we got a bunch of nicely chopped up onion and we're gonna add some salt, black pepper, and um, brown them just a little bit. Let's go ahead and season. Add a little bit of black pepper, nice freshly cracked. It's supposed to be one teaspoon of chile powder, spelled C-H-I-L-E, but I only have chili on hand, so we're just gonna use that. And then two teaspoons of ground toasted fennel seeds. I just blended up mine, and we're gonna go ahead and toast them in with the onions. But here are those two together. We're gonna throw these in with our onions and keep these browning. All right, so we got some carrots here. We're gonna grab a couple out, um, enough to make around one cup of small diced carrots. Um, so I'm gonna try three and tell you how much that makes. All right, so here's what our onion currently looks like right now. Uh, this is just a medium onion with salt, pepper, uh, some chili powder, as well as some fennel seeds. Uh, we went ahead and turned this off the heat, and then we'll slowly cut it in with some of our red quinoa. All right, so here are my carrots all cut up. Um, here it is compared to a one cup, so I would suggest probably doing, um, you know, two instead of three. Um, but, yeah. All right, so what we're actually gonna do with these carrots is um, we're gonna roast them at the 425 in the oven for around 25 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and lay these out on a parchment sheet and then add these into the oven. All right, so with your extra carrots, if you have any, um, I would just save them for later, make a vegetable stock out of them. Um, you know, you could put them in other veggie burgers if you make them again, or, um, you know, there's lots of uses you could do with corn or with carrots. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add a cup of garbanzo beans. One can's about one and a half cups. Um, so I'm just gonna measure out one cup and then with the other half a cup, I can um, just add it onto a salad for later. So I extracted out the cup, that's the remaining, and we're gonna add these onto our onions and cook for about five to 10 minutes. All right, so our quinoa just finished up. It's nice and fluffy now. We're gonna go ahead and just cool that off away, and we're gonna continue cooking this for another five minutes. And then we throw it into this, we mash the chickpeas and onions together, and then stir in the cooled quinoa um, when done mashing those two. Leave your chickpeas, a little teaspoon of white wine vinegar. 
that'll help store the ship piece on. Alright, meanwhile, while we wait, we're gonna go ahead and make a little special sauce. I'm gonna do just a real basic one. We got some vegan mayo, sriracha, sweet relish, and a little bit of salt. Now this is just a real basic simple sauce, special sauce, but um, you know, you can make it how spicy or you know, whatever you'd like. All right, so these are done now. We're gonna go ahead and add these into our pot with a potato masher and then mash them until combined. All right, so we're finished here with a roughly mashed uh, chickpeas and onion mixture. We're going to go ahead and uh, hand incorporate our light and fluffy red quinoa. Alright, so here it is all mixed. It's still very um, not clumping together, so we're going to continue adding more stuff to it and see how that goes. Alrighty, so our timer just went up for the Carrots. We're going to go ahead and take these out of the oven and then add them into our mixture. Just like that. That's our cup of carrots. And we're going to stir those together. This is the look after adding in the carrots. Alright, we're going to toast three-fourths cup of almonds because we don't have any walnuts and then blend them up and then add them into our burger mix. All right, so we got three fourths a cup of toasted almonds going. Uh, again, you should be using toasted walnuts, but uh, we don't have any unfortunately right now. We got half a cup of breadcrumbs going in. These are nicely toasted almonds. We're gonna add juice of one lemon and then some parsley. We're gonna add in a tablespoon of flat leaf parsley. A tablespoon of hot chili sauce or just sriracha. And then two tablespoons of potato starch. We're gonna go ahead and fold all of that in. You're supposed to mix the potato starch with water, but I didn't in this case. All right, so now we can form little balls with it. And we're gonna make around eight patties with this. All right, so I made approximately seven of these. And then we're gonna go ahead and sear in grapeseed oil for around three minutes on each side. And then serve them. All right, so we got some pickles, our special sauce, and then we got some wheat buns. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and toast these and then plate up our burgers. All right, so we have our toasted buns and our rested patties. We're gonna go ahead and flip these over. Just like that. We're gonna go ahead and get these plated on. Just like that. We're gonna go over here and get our plate.
special sauce right on top. We're gonna add a little bit of fresh greens. And some nice pickles to pair on top. And there you have it, a nice superiority burger.